Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 40 of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, uh, we were actually way up there, but I decided to save you some time and cut to myself way down here. Uh, also, turns out I was completely and utterly wrong. Stonebones Cave is actually the cave I was thinking about. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm a big old dumb dumb head. Anyway... We'll just continue on over here because Joshua Graham should be showing up right about here. That seem to hunger for human flesh. Where they come from, I do not know. Oh, I do. I do. But my character doesn't yet. There he is. There's my buddy. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundation. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Do you know what it means? Oh, I think I, I'm pretty sure I know what it means. You don't want to leave Zion. You'd rather kill every last one of the White Legs. Given those two choices, yes. In the best of all possible worlds, they would just leave us in peace. But they won't. You're not wrong. I don't enjoy killing, but when done righteously, it's just a chore, like any other. Practiced hands make for short work, and the good Lord knows there's much to be done here. You're not wrong. You'll get no argument from me. Those white legs are human garbage. From what I've been hearing, anyway. They're still God's children. But if they turn against their brothers and sisters, won't listen to reason. Mm -hmm. If they pollute the Lord's temples on earth, like Zion, who are we to stand by and let them continue? Daniel does not yet see things the way we do. He is the John to our Matthew and Mark. Mm -hmm. When you have a moment, speak with him. There may still be time to save Zion from the White Legs, to keep God's children here, in this living temple. You are not wrong. But first, I need to talk Welcome to you about back. something. What can I do for you? Uh, specifically about Follows Chalk. Seems to be interested in seeing more of the world. I thought he might. It's been some time since I visited civilized places it's a name for it i don't have fond memories of them yeah but i have always seen these places from the outside i'd rather not influence him more than i already do why don't you talk to him hmm fine by me i prefer the wilderness then let him know follows chalk needs more guidance in his life i'd prefer it not come from me if people mm -hmm. want to look to me for how to fight, I will show them how. I believe God put me on this earth for that very reason. But to live like me, think like me. No. There are better people for them to look to for such things. That's a way to look at it. Fair enough. So I guess I'll have to go back to uh, Follow's Chalk and talk to him. So do you run the show around here, basically? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. Mm -hmm. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is a spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. You're where we're in the Narrows, right? <laughs> anyway, I have some gear that might need some repairs. Let me have a look. My tribe may take too much pride in its mechanical talents. But in truth, we are intrigued by the workings of a fine firearm. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, my leather armor does need a little bit more, uh, repair than I thought it would. And this will also give him more money to buy stuff from me, so there's that too. Uh, it's not necessarily the one I need to have, uh, fixed up. I think the one I have is already pretty much at max. Isn't it? I can't really see it in the repair services. Oh, because it was stolen. Right, right, right. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. 
Um, some of these I don't really need repaired because I'm going to be selling them anyway. So, yeah, see? I told you. Sells more stuff. Eventually. <laughs> Take some of the more rounds that I need. Let's see what else he has. A uh, whole bunch of more primer boxes, which I always need to make more better rounds. Is, 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 is. Uh, weapon binding ritual. I want to double check the effects because that's something I want to do. Heal perception and limb damage for sport door limb condition. Melee damage plus 10. Unarmed plus 10. Gives a uh, slight minus to HP, but it's something you can easily heal. A side effect you can easily heal with other stuff. So overall, it is rather good to do that with. Um, hmm. Is there any other things I need from you, my good man? I don't think there is, because I already have these on a pistol. So yeah, we'll be good on that, I think. This and this I'll sell for now. Hmm, I'm pretty sure there's other things I wanted to sell too. Uh, atomic cocktail. That's actually good to have. So we're going to uh, keep that for now. Sell these. These I can make into big corner steaks later, which are good for me. Um, black coffee. Yeah, that's good to have. There's got to be something else. I'm pretty sure I had something else. There's that. Yeah, that's what I meant to sell that uh, don't really plan on using that poison often the anti-venom I will there's oh yeah there's that um, those those I need for things and stuff things and stuff stuff and things sell those sell these this is nice to have because the effects are pretty good uh, survival plus five is always a good thing to have. Sell these. Um, that I need to survive. <laughs> Sell those. Sell that. I don't need it. Sell that, definitely. And I think that's everything I need to sell. Uh, Yaguan meat. I could sell some of those. I don't really need all of that. And yeah, we'll call that good. Cool beans. Can I ask you some personal questions? It's not something I enjoy, but I pray to God that someone may learn from my mistakes. Mm -hmm. What would you like to know? So, were you always with the New Canaanites? I was born in Ogden, what people came to call New Canaan. Mm -hmm. Things were more peaceful when I was growing up. When I was a young man, I went out into the world to do missionary work, as all new Canaanites do. That's why I think they're more. I traveled along the Long 15 and followed 89 South into Arizona. Along the way, I met two men from a group called the Followers of the Apocalypse. Oh. Edward Sallow and Bill Calhoun. They came to teach the tribes. Calhoun was a good man. Edward was the one who got us into trouble down the road. In other words, Kaisar. <laughs> it was one of those men, Kaisar. No, not then. Back then, he was just Edward. Yeah. Smart man. Young, but we all were. We thought we could hike into the Grand Canyon and talk to Blackfoots. That's We did. And the Blackfoots were friendly enough at first. But eventually... I've thought back to that day so many times. I must have mistranslated... Something must have been mixed up, because the Blackfoots decided we weren't going to leave. Mm -hmm. The rest is history, assuming Edward hasn't changed it. So, like it's been said before, Kaisar has changed history a lot to make him look better. Like a lot of America has, eh? Yeah, you, you know, you know, I'm moving us back to, needlessly to America, yeah, okay. I'm gonna shut up now. How did you end up as Kaisar's legate? This way lies the path to hell. Ed Caesar needed me to translate. I like saying Kaisar. Translation became giving orders. Giving orders became leading in battle. 
Leading in battle became training, punishing, terrorizing. Oh. A series of small mistakes before a great fall. And I stayed in that darkness until after Hoover Dam. After I failed Caesar and he had me burned alive, thrown into the Grand Canyon. Jeez. How did you survive? I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm. The flame burned on and on. The next morning, I woke up and crawled out of the northern edge of the Grand Canyon, that cursed place. It took me three months to reach New Canaan. It was as though the prodigal son had returned. They welcomed me like I had never left. Never done anything to shame them. The fire that had kept me alive was love. Their love. God's love. I will never be able to repay the debt I owe to them. But I must try. Fair enough. Now the... That question there. He doesn't really want to talk about it. And that's because they're the bandages covering all the burns from when he was covered in pitch and thrown into the canyon. And if you do have the speech skill to be able to talk him into sharing, he tells you about the immense and utter pain it is, the pure agony it is to pull the bandages off and replace them with new... It's... I feel bad for the guy. And he knows he brought it upon himself. He knows he brought it, this punishment, onto himself for his crimes that he had committed. And he knows that. But he's willing to suffer through it as atonement to become better for it. And that is why I love this character. Right there. I don't have the speech skill to get into that option right now. And it pains me because I want you guys to see that. But I figured I'd mention that now. Because I know it. A lot of other players know it. And I figured I'd tell you that right now. And that is why I love this character. Alright, now to continue on. <laughs> normal narration. What do you know about the war between Caesar, Kaiser, and the NCR? I try not to involve myself with matters of the Mojave anymore. All I Fair know enough. is from before the Battle of Hoover Dam. Well, what do you think of the NCR? Better than Caesar, but that's not a high standard. Well... Too much love of money and ownership. Not enough love of God and giving. Like America! Any society that derives its power and authority from the will of man alone lives apart from God and will crumble in the end. Fair enough. And let's, uh... Find out what he knows about Mr. House. I had heard of him, but when we were preparing to enter the Mojave, he didn't seem relevant to what was happening. From what I've mm -hmm. learned since Hoover Dam, he handled the Mojave tribes in a fashion not entirely dissimilar from Caesar. It's too bad. Hmm. Yeah, it is a little bad now I think about it. It's not something... Uh... I'm gonna guess you don't like Kaiser that much anymore. Love the sinner, hate the sin. With Caesar, it's often very difficult to see through all of that sin to the person inside. I can say that we were both lucky that NCR's supply lines and land routes north of Mojave Outpost were destroyed before the Battle of Hoover Dam. Something bad happened near Death Valley at a place called the Divide. Mm -hmm. NCR couldn't cut across anymore, and it slowed down the reinforcements. Terrible storms ripped entire companies apart before they even got to Nevada soil. The divide. The aftermath of Hoover Dam could have been even worse for Caesar. The divide blocked all their northern land routes? Not all of them. But they couldn't take 127 north to get around the mountains. Ah. As if Death Valley weren't enough. They had the Divide and Big Empty to deal with. Big From what empty. the Legion's explorers reported, the Big Empty may as well have been a wall to any living thing approaching it. I want to find out more about that. What's at the Divide? 
I don't know for certain, and I don't think NCR knows either. Whatever happened at the Divide was too much for them to handle. Our Fruman Tarii told us what they saw. Only fools and madmen would march into a place like that. All roads wind down to the same spot, the grave. They said all that's left there is a gaping wound cut into the earth, cursed and damned. No place for God-fearing folk. All right. And that is a place we will be visiting soon. Gives you a slight taste to future DLC, even though they cannot interact with each other directly. Anyway, goodbye for now. God be with you. And to you as well, Joshua. A whole bunch of new stuff. Let's see how, how good my weight is now. Duh, not great, but you know, it's workable. I can work around it. Uh, hmm. I do need to talk to... Follows Chalk now, so we're going to be doing that for now. We're going to talk to him about our experiences in the uh, civilized lands. That includes Kaisar's little thing. You know... Plenty of those things that happen. Good job those supplies to Daniel. If you were a dead horse, you'd get a tattoo for that. Hey. I talked to Joshua about your thoughts on civilization. Yeah? What did he say? He said he has a hard time being objective about the whole idea and that I should be giving you advice on that. He said that? Well, I guess you have been out there more recently than he has. So, what's your advice? Now, this is a choice that is kind of difficult. Because, on the one hand, I do agree with the bottom choice. Civilization is sure as fuck isn't perfect, but neither is tribal life. So, uh... But then again, he does have a duty to these people. I'm just going to apply improvisation's rule on this, folks. <laughs> and that rule being, fuck it! Really? You think so? Whew. I'm going to do it. After all this is over, I'm going to go explore civilization. Cool. Dankney, Akis, I never would have had the grounds to ask him myself. All right. Sounds good, but I do not know what that choice means, <laughs> to be perfectly honest here. Oh, hey, level up. Cool. We'll deal with that now. Um, hmm. What do I want to add it to? Repair. That's one thing I want to add to. Uh, guns. Yeah, and I think I want to add more to repair, because I can be getting the jury rigging perk now, which is fucking godlike in this game. <laughs> it... It makes you a god among men. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to add some to speech, too. Because I do want to eventually build up to the point where I can talk to him about that thing. You know, the thing I was telling you guys about. Um, so that way you can see it in, you know, as it is. Adamantium skeleton for this game would be godlike. Uh, light step... And purifier, that'd be good, but it's not something I will do often. Um, you'll never set off an enemy's mines or floor-based traps. That would be good too. Uh, don't really need that though, not as much as I think I do. Adamantium skeleton would be far more of an effective use of this perk, so I'm gonna go with that for right now. That one, not so much. Um, and a lot of this stuff is uh, not really necessary. I will eventually be getting finesse, but that will probably be later in the game when I don't have a gun that pretty much does that for me. There we go. And yeah, this is the gun I have out. This is, you know, this is amazing stuff. Yeah, there we go. I wanted to pick that up Oop, before I did anything. 
the big horner problem was another quest I wanted to do uh, where there it is <laughs> it was the bigger name quest what why would I miss that I'm an idiot um, find a way up the cliffs which is over there so I gotta go this way for it basically but uh we'll deal with that in the next episode I think um, thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more and click the like button if you like this particular video and you know share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games we're playing together and you know the choices I'm making in this one and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.